welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for being here today. As you can see, I have on my Disney Epcot Ball Germany ears. And that means, you guessed it, we are doing our Disney haul video today. So we did just get back literally today as we're filming this. Um, we showed up at five o'clock. I have to be at work at midnight. So I am exhausted. I'm going to continue being exhausted. It is snowing here, which is absolutely awful. I do not like the snow. I live in the South because I don't want to experience the snow ever. And uh, yeah, it's just been, it's been wild. Um, but we had a great time. Uh, we did go, this was like a combined Christmas Valentine's present from Nikki. Uh, this was my big Christmas present. He actually is starting his nine to five job on Monday. So it was kind of like a little last hurrah. Um, we're like moving forward. We've been approved for a loan. That's enough to buy a house that is, you know, something that we would want. So we're moving forward and um, we're gonna do a life update video where we kind of go more in detail about that kind of stuff. I, I posted about it on our Instagram and people seem to say, yes, we'd like to see that. So, okay, cool, we'll give it to you. Um, but today, that is a lot of backstory for today. Um, today, we're just gonna show you guys what we picked up in Disney. Um, Nikki had done an, a really amazing job of saving a bunch of money for us to go to Disney and I was really, really thankful for it. And he basically was like, you know, this is a, a fun trip. So if you wanna buy stuff, we buy stuff. And um, we did a really good job of not spending too much, but we did still pick up some stuff. Um, I did get the Germany ears because I we bought a whole bunch of Germany shirts on sale last time and I wanted to get the ears to match them when we were in Epcot. And um, we literally spent uh, almost all day looking for them. We found them in one store, we bought them, and then we went to a discount store that was in one of the outlet malls that was an official Disney store and they had them there for $6.99 and I was so sad because even with our discount, we paid $25 for these. So that was incredibly upsetting, but, but I did find them and I did get them. So I do have my Germany ears now, which I'm very excited about. So what we're gonna do for this video is I'm gonna show you guys, we got a whole bunch of matching stuff and then Nikki got some stuff and he built a droid in Galaxy's Edge, which is awesome. So I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I bought that we didn't get that was matching. And then he's actually going to come onto camera with me and show the stuff that we got matching and show some of the stuff that he picked up as well. I'm gonna start with the non-Disney stuff first. Um, and then I'm going to jump into the Disney stuff. So we did go to Disney Springs, which is like basically a giant outdoor mall that is owned by Disney. It's on Disney property, but it's not one of the parks. So they have this really cool Japanese store at the front and they have these super soft fuzzy jackets. And I have a pullover that I think you guys have seen me wear a whole bunch because I know I've worn it in like seven or eight videos because I love it so much. And my aunt gave it to me two Christmases ago and I absolutely love it. Well, this is like that, except that one is like a three quarter zip and this this one is like all the way zip. So especially like on a day to, like today when it's super cold, I'm really excited to have this jacket. And um, yeah, it'll be great for when I go into work and I'm in the freezer for an hour and I, um, I wanna be warm. So I got it in gray. And I got it in red, maroon, purple, whatever you want to call it, this color. Um, and uh, I think for both of them, it was like $54 or something like that. So it wound up being a really good deal, like 25 essentially a piece with tax. So yeah, I am very, very excited about picking those up. Um, we also went to an outlet mall, the Tangers outlet in Savannah, Georgia on the way home because we stayed in Hardyville, South Carolina on our last night. So we could break the trip up into two days. We went to the uh, Tangers in Savannah, which we've decided is our favorite Tangers. We've been to a bunch like in South Carolina and stuff like that, but this one is definitely the best. Once again, part of my Valentine's present, Christmas present, because Nikki is just the, the absolute best and he treats me like a princess, even though I am a strong independent woman and I don't want to be a princess. I secretly do want to be a princess. He got me two purses from the Michael Kors outlet. And I'm just gonna say, if you're in Savannah and you are a fan of like designer purses and stuff like that, I would definitely recommend going to Michael Kors. Um, every time we're there, they have like 75% off their store and then like an additional 20% off. Like, I don't know if it's just timing wise that we always hit it at the right time, but we stopped on the way home from the cruise and then we stopped uh, to this time and it was the same type deal. So I found this bag, which my mom was like, I love that. And I also love it. This bag was $69. After all the sales, it was 75% off and then it was an additional 25%, uh, I'm sorry, 20% off on top of that, which equals about 80%. So uh, the original price for it, I think was like, oh, there it is, right there, huh. Uh, it was 348 originally and we paid 69 for it, so. Heck yes, heck yes to that. And then I also got this one, it's a little bit more of a classic one. For some reason when I buy purses, I just can't buy one at a time. Normally I buy 
three or four. This time I got two, so I was good, I guess. But this one was originally 378 and it wasn't quite as on sale. I think it was like 70% off with an additional 20% off. So this one, uh, we wanna pay 90 for this one. Um, but I really like both of them and I am a big fan of Michael Kors. It's not one of my like, I wanna say it's like one of my favorite designers. Normally I go for like Dunies or Coaches. Um, coach outlet there is also great they're very friendly but they just don't have as good of sales so we walked through that as well there was like one purse that i liked for 90 but both of these were way cuter than that one so um so yeah so that's what we got from the tangers in uh savannah we also did go to spencer's they just had these really cool like uh, shot glass sets and with us buying a house we're building a bar inside the house like no matter that's one of the the stipulations we have to have is an area of we kind of were just like, we just want an area, but now we've decided we want an actual room to dedicate to the bar. So um, yeah, we don't have a lot of shot glasses though. We have a lot of other kind of glasses, but we uh, don't have a lot of shot glasses. So we got this Deadpool shot glass set for like 15 bucks. So uh, yeah, Deadpool, hell yeah. Um, yeah, so that's everything we bought in Savannah. And then we did also go to the dinosaur store. Um, it's like a restaurant. I think it's called like the dinosaur restaurant or some, I don't know, Jurassic restaurant or something like that. The T-Rex shop, I guess. The T-Rex restaurant. <laughs> I'm so tired, I'm so sorry guys. Um, but anyway, I last time we went, I brought uh, my mom a Himalayan salt lamp. We got my mom a Himalayan salt lamp and um, she loves it. She's sitting on her counter. So we actually bought one for ourselves because we know we're moving into the house. And I was like, I want a Himalayan salt lamp. And I just like, I mean, I like their whole aesthetic. They're just neat. But um, I also like, you know, there's a lot of good things about like healing properties and stuff with Himalayan salt lamps. So this is the one that we got, really, really beautiful. They actually had quartz ones too, like really tall, beautiful, angular um, quartz ones that were white. And then they had like um, colored lights on the inside. And I think next time we go, I may pick one of those up because these are not really expensive, like considering what you would buy. These are about normal price, even like outside of Disney and we get 20% off because we're pass holders. So. It was a definitely a great deal um, for that. Then we also got the puppy some dog treats. They're little, uh, they're little little uh, Darth Vader's. They're little Darth Vader doggy treats. So we, I wanted to buy her a shirt or a harness, like a safety harness, but she would absolutely hate that. So we were like, well, we'll bring her food because she loves food. So yeah, that's, that's what we did. Okay. Okay. So Nikki's here. Say hi, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Um, so we're gonna show you guys now everything that he got or we got matching. We have decided every time we go to Disney, we're gonna get at least one matching spirit jersey um, because he loves the spirit jerseys. He normally wears them while he's editing and I also love them. And it's pretty much the only thing that we can't get like um, our friend, Michelle, who she designed the shirts that we got the original Disney trip. She can make pretty much any shirt we wanted to. Um, so the, the spirit jerseys are the one thing we can buy in the park that we really can't buy anywhere else. So that's why we've decided that's pretty much what we are getting when we go to the parks. So I did get one that he didn't get and then we got everything else matching. So the one that I got, we were there during the Festival of the Arts in Epcot, which was really cool. They had a bunch of artists with like pop-up stands set up where you could buy Disney art. They had people doing live artwork there. You could do, there were chalk colorings and stuff. And we took videos of all the stuff so you guys will get to see it as well. Um, there was like actually a little paint thing where you could go and you could paint um, part of it. You get like a number and a color and you go and you fill in that color so you could be part of the artwork. So it was really, really cool. Of course we went because they were doing a bunch of specialty food and alcohol um, stands that like the, the pop-up stands and that was like our big thing. So we went and we ate and drank our way through Epcot and it was awesome. Um, they had a lot of really delicious stuff. We got really cool like lobster nachos and things like that. But um, one of the rides, if you've never been to Disney, like I had never been to Disney before, I would never know about Figment because Figment is just a ride. He's not like a character from any movie or anything. But his whole, his whole spiel is that like, basically you can be, you know, super intelligent and very logical and use your senses and, you know, use deductive reasoning, but without imagination, nothing really matters. And I am all for being creative and embracing creativity and, you know, respecting artists and, and doing all that awesome stuff because obviously we're creative types. That's why we're doing this. So um, he was the face of the arts festival and um, I wanted a figment thing last time and I didn't get anything. So I figured this would be a great time to get a figment jersey. So figment's down there. If you can't see him, he's painting. He's a little, he's a cute little, little dragon. Looks like he's almost from like dragon tails or something, but he's not, he's just figment. And then the back of it says, um, find the perfect pigment with your pal figment. And that's what it looks like. 
So I really, really like that. And plus, since it was a specialty event, this is like, we could only buy it for basically the month that the event was going on. So I was like, that's a really good thing to get to commemorate the fact that we were there in 2020. So yeah, so that's why I got that one. Nikki didn't want it. And I explained what Figment was to my mom who hasn't been to Disney World since she was a child and I'm sure does not know who Figment was. And she was like, why didn't you like Figment? I love Figment. I was like, I love Figment too, mom. So, so Nikki just doesn't like creative types, I guess. So he's actually gonna model for you, the next thing that we're gonna show you. You gonna get up and show the back? Can you fit? I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't think I can. I'm stuck. Um, yeah, so we actually found these on the very last day in Disney Springs. Uh, they were, so we do get 20% off of everything. These were actually cheaper than the spirit jerseys, which I was kind of shocked about. These were like 65 normally. I think it was like 110 for us both to get ours with our discount, but they are really cool flannels. And if you can see, it's obviously it's Star Wars, but you've got a little pocket right there. And then you've got on the back, it's the new Stormtrooper head and it says crush the rebellion. And we were both like, we both saw it and we were like, oh, that's awesome. And um, we actually had been looking at another spirit jersey that was there that we hadn't seen anywhere else in the park that we liked that was Star Wars. And they were like, oh, we saw those. And we were like, oh, never mind, we want those. So we got those matching and he wore it today. And it looks really, really good. I'm a big fan of it on him. So I probably won't wear it fully buttoned up. I'll probably wear it with like a shirt under it unbuttoned, but I do really, really like it, so. All right, do you want to talk or do you want me to just talk? You just talk. No. You're doing great. No. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're doing fantastic. No, you get to talk. Keep up the good work. My throat hurts. You get to talk. Okay. This is another shirt we got. Well, you want to pull yours out of the bag? <laughs> no. No, I don't want to do that. It's over here. It's okay. He's like, when are we talking about me? It's coming. It's coming. He's literally worse than the dog. We named a replacing <laughs> Rocky. So uh, we did get these matching Mandalorian Baby Yoda uh, spirit jerseys, and I love them. Say the Mandalorian on the back, and I've got the Mandalorian right there. And uh, full disclosure, I have not watched the Mandalorian yet. He keeps telling me I need to watch it. I, I know do. I do. I'm going to watch it. Um, but <laughs> we basically, he was like, I still think I'm going to get the Mandalorian one because we got the ones we're about to show you. We got those first. And then he was like, I still think I'm going to get that. And I was like, if I don't get the Mandalorian one and I watch the Mandalorian, am I going to be mad that I didn't get it? And he was like, yeah, probably. So that's why I also got it. Yeah. So, but this was like the big spirit jersey. Like we saw people wearing them everywhere. They yeah. were in every store. People wore them all the whole trip. So, I mean, it definitely was like, that was like the big spirit jersey of the, the time. Yeah. So. Also got these that I'll have show you the, back. the little uh, symbol of the rebellion and the Galactic Empire on them. And then the back says and Star the, Wars. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I love this one. This one is incredible. Yeah, we only saw this one in two locations too. Um, yeah. Like the baby the baby Yoda ones, the Mandalorian ones, we literally saw in every store we went into. Like it didn't matter what the theme was of the store, yeah. it, they had that shirt. Um, these actually, surprisingly enough, the only place we saw them was in Disney Springs and in Epcot. Like it wasn't in yep. Galaxy's Edge. We didn't see it in the big Star Wars store that's that they made in um, Hollywood Studios because they took out one of the really big stores that used to just be like one of the all over stores mm -hmm. and they made it, they dedicated it just to Star Wars yep. logically. Um, but we didn't see that in any of those locations, which I was kind of shocked about, um, to be honest. But uh, that's everything I got. And then I'll let Nikki talk about the last two things that he got because they were really, really neat. Okay, so the uh, the big thing, well, I'll start with the little thing first because- Save the best for yeah, last. The best is for last. Oh. I did get a desk ornament uh, for my editing desk and it's the Millennium Falcon, uh, the Black Spire Outpost. And it's pretty cool. What's a desk ornament? Yes, yeah, it's a desk ornament. That's what it's called, right? No. What's it called? It's just, just it, I don't know, a tchotchke. I don't, it's a desk. It, I've it's never heard it referred to as a desk ornament. It's a desk ornament. It desk says decorative item only. See, desk ornament. Yep. It says Black Spire Outpost, which is what like the Galaxy's Edge is like themed. Um, obviously it's themed, but there's like a whole storyline behind it that it's supposed to be uh, like an uh, a trader outpost where the First Order and the Resistance are. Um, and it's Black Spire. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, and like it was it. like a really good deal. It was like 30 bucks, which, yeah. I mean, that doesn't sound cheap, but for Disney. For Disney, cool. that's like free. So it was only like 25 after our discount. So it was actually yeah. really good. That's what I saw. And I was like, oh, you should definitely get this. Because yeah, he always. I love it. He's always looking for cool stuff to put on his editing desk. And especially with us, like knowing that we're going to have our own space in like just a couple months. Like that we're thinking about things exactly. that we can decorate and stuff. So, yeah. yep. All right. And then the piece de resistance is our, our little droid here. 
that was that was interesting. He's cool. I love him. He's a uh, uh, B D no. R he was R two D thirteen. That's what. Yeah, we, we named him R two D thirteen because mm -hmm. we both are born on thirteenth, and we're gonna get married on October thirteenth, yeah. and thirteenth is both of our favorite numbers. So. He's so cool. He was really neat. It was like really fun getting to build him and watch. We yeah. recorded that too, so you should be able to get to see that. And do you want to show him the backpack that came with it? Yeah, so uh, we opted to do like their... Um, bundle uh, deal? Yeah, their bundle deal, which will come with the droid, the backpack, which is here. And it's got like a little compartment so you can carry it around the park. Yep, and it's magnetic, so this mm -hmm. buckles down. So like when we walked around with him, basically Nikki held him like a baby. Yeah, I had him so, just like this. Like on his chest, so... And um, it also came with a, um, you can see the, the front there, and it also came with a, uh, a chip, a personality chip, and we chose to do the first, one of the first order chips. Um, and that bundle deal was like, I think it was 167. 165 is what yeah, I think some, it was. Yeah, something like that, and we got a discount with basically, it. Basically, the droid was 100, the personality chip was 15, and then the backpack was 50, so it wasn't mm -hmm. like the bundle deal, it was just buying it all together, it wasn't a discount. Yeah. But because we were pass holders, the droid itself didn't get a discount, but the backpack and the personality chip did, so it yeah. wound up being like 150 even, I think, is yeah. what it, it wound so up being. So we basically got the personality chip for free, free. Mm -hmm. so. more or less. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it was, it was a really fun experience being mm -hmm. able to build it. I, I've always loved the droids and the R units were always my favorite. And of course we had to go with the, uh, the black and gray aesthetic because that's just who we are. Scene weenie. Yeah. Our little we got, scene, we got our little scene droid. And I mean, it was totally worth the, the hundred dollars that 150 bucks that we spent on totally. And when you walk around the park, like the personality chip interacts with different all, areas, mm -hmm, yeah. different areas. And if you're, you know, if the stormtroopers walk by and you've got a resistance droid, it'll kind of do some like crazy sounds or you, you, we had the first order one. And when like Chewbacca and Ray walked by, uh, I did some crazy sounds. Mm -hmm. So it was really cool to, to have that. So when we go back, I'm totally putting him in the backpack and walking around with him again. Yeah, we talked about maybe doing a, a BB unit next time yep. because the BBs are really cool too. Like when you see him roll around, like their whole body moves and their head stays like in place. So it's, it's really yeah. cool watching them move. Um, we may wait and do it maybe the time after we go, but yeah. it's just gonna kind of depend on like what, what we're at financially and like how far we are in the house buying process. And if right. we already have the house and paying a mortgage and building the bar and everything. <laughs> yeah. So we may have less money to be able to dedicate to that. But um, yeah, I think it was definitely worth it. I mean, you know, I, I could have skipped it, but I, it was like the one thing that Nikki wanted to do. So we yeah. made sure that we did it first. If you so couldn't then. tell him, I'm a diehard Star Wars yeah, fan. Yeah, he's a big so. Star Wars fan. So he's, you know, if you can't tell from all the stuff that we buy. Yeah, <laughs> literally all Star like Wars. Almost like almost everything is things. like Star Wars. So. <laughs> But yeah, so that was our Disney haul. Um, the vacation was a lot of fun. Um, like I said, you'll see, I think we're, we decided uh, we were gonna do one video, but we have a lot of stuff. Even though we didn't record as much as we did last time, we do have a lot of stuff. There's a lot of uh, Galaxy's Edge, which I know people are interested in seeing right now. Um, and then there's a lot of um, food food we ate a lot so i think we're gonna separate it into that like doing it into two parts like maybe all star wars for one video and then everything else for another video so yeah all right well that's pretty much all we have for you today we talked a lot because we bought a lot so i'm sure it's gonna be a nice long video um we have like six or seven other things to film tonight so yeah so if you haven't subscribed to the page please do so uh we definitely would love for you to join the family like i said we've got a lot of really cool stuff coming we've been very bad about posting in 2020 just because of all the stuff that's going on but we are going to get much better about it um I th if everything is pretty much calming down now after Disney's done, we, we're kind of like leveling out. I mean, we'll, we're going to be moving at some point, so that's going to be a crazy time. But um, we want to be able to vlog that for you guys too. Shh. It's okay. Uh, we want to be able to vlog that for you too because we know like that's um, something that I'm sure a lot of people are curious about seeing, um, especially if you've never bought a house before like us. This has just been a crazy process. And then we're also going to do a life update video because I think you guys have expressed that you're like really... Um, interested in that, uh, which I was excited to see. I posted about it on Instagram and you guys seemed to, to be receptive to it. So that made me feel um, like you you care about us. So thank you, we care about you too. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't subscribed, just subscribe to the page. Uh, that way you can see all that cool stuff that's coming out at you. We are almost to 300 subscribers as we're filming this. Um, I don't think we're gonna do another giveaway for the 300, but we're gonna do one soon coming up probably in like a month or two. Yeah, other than that, uh, like the video if you enjoyed it and uh, yeah. Have a great day and stay girly, but with a dark twist.